loin d'abord. Hi guys, welcome to a little blast from the past product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item which you have in front of you. It's actually been a video that's been requested by a few of my subscribers. Recently I was asked quite a few times, what is your oldest air gun in inventory as far as CO2 pistols go? And this happens to be it. This is a Daisy 100. Really neat little pistol. It's actually Daisy's first semi-automatic CO2 replica pistol. Uh, this is the beginning of Daisy's air guns basically as far as CO2 guns go or repeaters now the gun was actually designed or based off of a UMA Powermaster 22 caliber pistol the company that designed it was Floyd Hyde Engineering out of Alhambra California Daisy picked it up from them and named it the Daisy 100 now this was only out in 1962 then after that, it was uh, redesigned and then put out again as the Daisy 200. Now, with the 100, really neat. Uh, this pistol in particular does work and function. I have fired it. It is really neat, but it is missing some parts, uh, namely the safety, uh, the little tab here on the bottom of the lockdown screw, and then on the back end, that little plug for the uh, BB reservoir. Now it will hold up to 200 BBs in the reservoir. It has an internal magazine though of 5. And what you do is you go ahead and slide that forward and then sort of tilt the gun forward a little bit and then it will fill up that magazine and you're ready to shoot. Now the sight picture on this thing is pretty decent. I like it quite a bit. Easy to aim. This rear sight is adjustable. You can move it a little bit to the right or left but uh, pretty straightforward and easy to shoot trigger is nice and crisp now the gun itself it only uses the uh, eight and a half gram co2 cartridges and when it first came out they were called the daisy jets uh, co2s now they came in a little green box or I, I think that's pretty much how they think well that's what I've seen um, I've never actually gotten a chance to use them but I did actually use a co2 cartridge a smaller 8 gram CO2 cartridge for the gun. I found that on a uh, CO2 dragster kit. What those are is basically you get this block of wood with some wheels and stuff and you cut the wood to make a little dragster and they use a small little 8 gram CO2 cartridge to power the little vehicle and shoot it down a track. Now I had two of those little CO2 cartridges used both of them and the first one, I, I thought it was first, uh, maybe that they're underpowered a little bit. I tried both of them and, and got three shots out of both of them. After that, after the third shot, it just completely bleeds out. There's not enough pressure to, uh, to fire another shot after that. So uh, it was fun to shoot. Uh, it was probably wasn't at max pressure as far as uh, the first or the second two shots. But the first shot, you know, it did pretty decent. Uh, it was fairly accurate. I liked it a lot trigger pull was nice and the gun you know it fired really neat um, after on that last one it's sort of like it fired uh, fully auto but there was no BBs coming out I mean there was just no pressure there behind it at all so you can see the grips are pretty neat uh, there is a crack on this side and this side looks all right there's some scratching up here definitely the gun's been the gun has really been loved a lot um, not very bad but I mean this is was put out in 1962 and my uncle used it quite often actually he loved the gun and I'm happy to be the proud owner of it uh, really a neat little pistol and a part of Daisy history so that is a look at my Daisy 100 any questions feel free to ask um, overall it's a really neat little pistol so Thanks for watching the video. If you can, please subscribe. Definitely, uh, if you also can, maybe share the video on some social media. It always helps out. And thank you for watching. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. And I'll definitely be talking to you soon.